Wednesday at the Oval was expected to be a quiet day of training until both sides dropped selection bombshells on the eve of the fifth Ashes Test. Australia named a squad of 12 with all-rounder Mitch Marsh replacing vice-captain Travis Head. The prospect of a batter-friendly oval pitch and a weary fast bowling unit saw Marsh get the nod overhead, who has averaged 27 in four tests this campaign. Victoria paceman James Pattinson also missed out, with one of Pat Cummins, Josh Hayeswood, Mitch Stark and Peter Siddle to carry the drinks. Looking at the conditions and the, the series being um, a long and tough one, um, we've kept the sort of the same bowling group that was together last test match. Um, they've bowled a lot of overs and we feel that um, bringing Mitchell in will ease a little bit of the workload on it, on them. So it was a really tough call on, on Travis Head, who's had a great start to his test career. Um, but yeah, we just wanted a bit more bowling depth in the squad to um, cover what looks like a really good wicket. Then it was England's turn to announce changes to their 11. After averaging just 13.75 this series, Jason Roy was dropped along with towering seamer Craig Overton. Jason's, you know, he's... He's had an opportunity to come in and play test cricket, get a feel for it, and it's not quite gone how he would have liked, but he'll, I'm sure he'll go away, work extremely hard and, and come back again. Um, and that's what you expect of guys when um, they get left out, and I'm sure he'll have that attitude and, and want to try and prove a point and get himself back into the side. Replacing the pair are all-rounders Chris Wokes and Sam Curran, who will cover the bowling workloads of Ben Stokes. Stokes will play as a specialist batter after England decided against risking the shoulder injury he picked up at Old Trafford. The fifth and final Ashes test starts at 11am local time, that's 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, with the Aussies aiming for a win that would seal their first Ashes series victory in England since Steve War's side in 2001.